How are you doing, Ralph here, Ralphie Customs? Time for another vlog. Now, keeping with the new format, if you like, I've not kept it job job specific. That's the word. I've not kept it job specific. What I've done is chopped and changed and mixed and matched, and you'll see the kind of stuff that I see on the regular. This has just been as things have rolled in and out and how things have gone like. There's a little bit of out of the shop. There's a bird in here tweeting around. There's a little bit of out of the shop footage that I've started to include and people seem to like. Let me know in the comments below. Um, and let's do it. Big love, everyone. Right, <clears throat> we have got the front end I want to get in, yeah, what we need to do is fit the yokes first, there's a rake in the yokes, which means that they need fitting before the forks, you can't fit the forks on the yokes and fit the yokes in the frame line, if that makes sense, because of the angle of the dangle, um, what I will do is give this a quick clean up, if you remember these were mullered, these threads were mullered, somebody happily snapped a tap off that's still in there because I ain't touching that shit but I reclaimed the threads so we've got three we'll get three bolts in for the steering stops they catch on that lug right under the frame there um, we'll grease the bearings up I'm just waiting on the top yoke to finish hardening um, and now I can polish it and fit it like because you have to fit the yokes as I've just said so we can get that together and then we can get the forks in. What I can't bring myself to fit is this fucking headsteader. I'm going to make a new one. I've left, purposely left that and it's like, what do you do? You know, make a new one. It's fucking nice. That's what you do. So that's what I'm going to do. Right. We'll just drop back on this for our finger bob. If you are watching, well, I know it will be. So we've, we borrowed a nut, M20 bar 1.25, and she's a goer, look. I'd had to take a very, very light cleanup pass off, first thing. But, I'm just gonna fucking do it, defo, in a few days. So, we just need to work out how we're gonna do the other end of it, like. So, now we're gonna cut this hex. I'm gonna leave a little, look. Sorry, I'll, I'll rewind a bit. Right, so now we're going to cut this hex on the end. I'm going to leave a slight flange on the uh, round because I'm going to make a washer, like a spacer washer that gives us the flanged finish that we, we that we wanted. Um, and I reckon it, this is 22 mil, just over, and I want 19 mil, so that's three mil off. If I do a mil and a half cut, we'll see whether it's going to give us enough of a flat to make the spanner fit. Failing that, we can go to 18, 17, don't matter. It's not gonna be uh, exactly 19 mil, you know, it's not gonna match the original 19 mil, it just needs to take a metric spanner. So, I've got this set up in my six-sided collet block. Uh, I've got a four flue end mill, sorry, that I've touched off on it. And I know that I want uh, a mil and a half off, so 60 thou. So I'll get you in a tripod and we'll start making cuts. So, we're going for 40 thou cut. We'll see what this fucker does. Let's, uh, we've got everything locked off that needs to be. I'm just going to move across like so, nice and steady into this. And I think that, that should do it. rather nicely so we've got four tip and then we're gonna go 20 
20. Oh, 10. Fuck it. We've got 10. Coming back. A little bit more go on. Very thick this morning. The goo, not me. Although... Yeah. The less said about that, the better. And finally, another 10 to finish. Nice and steady. Like so. I think that would be fucking peachy. So, what I'll do is undo this, turn it round one. Whee. So, turn it round one, make sure that it's sitting nice and true, that the collet block is level, which is there. Then we'll drop the bed back down and come up again with that 40 mil. And so on and so forth. Okay, so we're just coming up on the last cut now. We decided on we'll do a 30 thou cut, which is what this is. This is the heaviest cut, which fits because it's across the shortest surface, if you like, because the surface gets wider every time I do a cut. And then we're going to do 20 thou, which gives us 50 thou look. Right, so. Nice and steady. There's a good burr on there. Makes me think that this tool is probably not the sharpest. Not the sharpest tool in the box. And then another 10. Final 10. To give us 60. Which is that. So here we go. Take some de-bearing. I might hit it on the wire wheel. So that, my friends, should... Find a span up. Should fit that span along. And uh, it does. It's a nice fit, that is. So now what we need to do is de rag it, get rid of these fucking burrs because it's rough. And turn the end off. I'm going to turn this end down, clean it up a bit, because we don't need it to be that long, right? But we'll get rid of these burrs somehow and uh, get over in the lathe. And then we need to make a washer that's going to space it out to give us a flanged end. So back right, to the lathe. So I've chucked up the collet holder look in the lathe. Guess why not? Um, what I'm going to do... I'm going to part off this end, so <coughs> watch the light flashing because the vibrations of this interrupted cut affect the switch. I ain't even joking. So we'll get this, hopefully, cutting evenly and not ruin the tip in the process. Here we go, any minute now, here we go. So. Nice and steady. Not happy about that. Did I turn? Yeah, I did. I'm wondering if I uh, if I change my change gears. The uh, gearing that we change up when we do screw cutting is not the one that I use for general machining. And it makes if I leave it, it makes my feeds too fast. So you just fucking annihilate tooling as you go, like because you forgot like that. That's broke up. Right on the end, what a bastard. Anyway, uh, that's not too bad. <laughs> hey, there you go. So, wait, oh, give me some gears then. So now, we can clean off that. I'm actually going to run a centre in the end of that. So, what's that? Right, so. Nice and steady. And then 
you can just break this edge that you can't see. Like that. Now I'm going to swap this out. I'm going to put a chamfer on that. So let me chamfer tool on. In, even. Yeah. How do, isn't it? In the last, but by no means least, we will. Well, I sent a drill in, so. There we go. Oh, no. Cool, man. Need that to take up the slack. I will. This, I've, this is the last one I've got. So, I need some. I just want to finish it off. If anyone ever needs to machine it, or do anything with it, it would be nice to leave them with a centre drill in place like, so it's machine to take a centre, obviously. Clues in the name, isn't it? And there we go. Happy days. So now we've undone this collar and we can pull out the old spindle. I just need to make a, a washer, four mil. It needs to be four mil thick for this end just to flange it out a bit. I'm going to check uh, what diameter it needs to be. But I'm thinking I could use a bit of this stainless steel like so. <sighs> So our pole won't need to get that plated or painted or anything else. He'll have a little bit of bling on the end there with a shiny bit of stainless. Hey, you can tell it's been a late one when we're driving home in the pitch blackness and we're going through water. It's fucking water. We've got floods. Fucking floods. What's that all about? Cheeky quick one in the powder coaters. Just going to pick this one up. Nicely blacked. I'm ready to fucking rock and roll, ain't it? Aftermath, look. For those in the know, that's another sump. Fuck it, no, you can't make it all, could you? So we're gone for a weekly, uh, sorry, yearly inspection. Um, for our foreign readers, uh, we have. Uh, all vehicles over three years old have to go for a Ministry of Transport inspection every 12 months to make sure the roads were there. And this passed, no problem, but uh, the handbrake's sticking this side and the pads are a bit low like on the brakes. So I've had all that out, service the caliper, couldn't sort the handbrake out. Cable, I had to change the cable, which is uh, interesting. And while we're under there, me and the inspector, because, you know, I, I know them. So I'm underneath it with a bloke that works for the ministry, like, checking it out. And the sump's fucking leaking. So, yesterday we spent lavishing the old Mark IV that's looking decidedly grubby. Um, and treating it to some well-needed maintenance by the looks of it. We've changed the sump, we've sorted a boost pipe out, we've sorted a, a slight water leak out, we've rebuilt the rear caliper, and we've replaced the handbrake cable. I didn't video myself doing it because I just wanted to crack on and get it done like, but there you go. It's a good job I've got space for it, isn't it? Fucking hell, I'm a ram lot now. There we go, it's an idea look. I mean, my engine is, you don't know I'm videoing this, but it's coming back lot. It's Mr. Fucking Douglas. No, fucking no, I'm videoing you, look, you fuck up. You, I am going to put you on the internet. You've just caught me videoing your fucking shop. You are, you are. I'm whispering to myself, saying he don't know I'm fucking videoing this. Look at this. I mean, fucking hell, what an Aladdin's cave. I can't wait till he retires and gives it all to me. I'm fucking proper looking forward to it. What did you say? That's why I've befriended you. <laughs> <laughs> fucking hell, I don't play the long game like that. 
Here we go, fucking up. Oh, well, the camera will pick it up. This is a fucking handprint, look. We have climbed out from underneath. Well, I've been working on this yesterday. Fuck about. Hey, what's that all about? So, the plot thickens. Just had a phone call. This is being collected today, this frame, together with that massive heavy engine and that box of bits. So, that's happy days. Um, it means I need to get the hoist out because there's no way that that is getting picked up manually like so. Uh, what I'll do, I'll shove the Triumph up there, up yonder, out of the way, get the oyster out. I'm ready. Um, also, I've had another phone call. Um, this is our Russ's night train. The tyre's on the wheel. Not the, This is not phone call related. But there you go, look at that. Ready to rock and roll. Um, Will's coming tomorrow to pick up the VN. So, that's yeah, another result. Happy days. Just in the nick of time for me, that like, what a shit look at it. It's fucking lovely and all, isn't it? What a shame that Well, just what a shame. That I've got to be realistic about my expectations and managing to do stuff like. And the golf is gone out. I've washed it, all the greasy handprints off, and it left no mark. Oh, it left a just drips of water there from the uh, aircon. That's it. So it's drier than a baker's fart underneath. So we can almost return to some normality in the shop this afternoon. And what I've got to make is, is like 10 minutes for you a lot, but it's fucking next day or two for me, is the washer. Four mil thick, 20 mil old, whatever it is, OD, I'll check my drawing for that. So that's me next. I'm going to make a brew. It is now afternoon, I'm going to make a brew and I'm going to get set up on there and make this washer for this job. Um, and then go from there. Right oh, so we're finally getting on the last part of this fucking spindle, which is taking me all fucking week. It's mad, isn't it? Uh, obviously not eight hours a day every day, but you know, it took me a fucking week to get this far. Right, what I'm going to do is, this needs to be 32 mil, which it is already, diameter. 20 mil up its bum, 4 mil thick with a shape to it. That's it. Dead, dead simple. So, what I shall do, as always, get the old girl running. Run with the centre drill. I recently adjusted the stop, which is what it's off camera like, but I recently adjusted the stop on this tail stop. It's taking a bit of getting used to because I think I've gone a bit too far. The lever's laying down a little bit more than I'd like. So. Right, so. Right, that's that bit. And now we're in with a 10 mil. My customer it pilot. Set a tape to take up its slack. There we go. And I only need four mil, so I've got a good chunk allowing for the taper of the drills. I don't need to drill all the way through. Hey, oh, light's gone off. There we go. Have to turn it off and on again. If you know, you know. It's easily turned off and on. I've got a little bit more. Just. Because why not? Like so. I'll slow things down a bit. I'm coming with a 20 mil bit. We've got to light up a bit. Which I reckon I'll squeal and chatter like a bastard until it actually gets cut in, but we'll be weak. <laughs> nice even pressure. Referencing and cross-referencing at every opportunity. I don't know why I'm shouting. My microphone's on my lapel. Look at that. No wrong with that. Fairly whirly for days. Oh, my baby. That'll do. Oh, wow. 
Now then, we just break. Oh no, I'm going to say I'll break that hole and I've followed it through. We're doing it, but we need to face it up. So, all change. So, we're back up to fast. And we are just looking to face that off. Go oh, on. Bit more, a little bit more on the way out. Look, just like that. Jubbly jubbly. Now we'll break that new edge like that and ch change down a gear while we swap this out. Make sure there's no swarf on the tool holder. <gasps> Cheers, John, if you're watching. Most common sense. Top tip, as they all are, common sense, and let's see what we can fucking do with regards to a nice chamfer, chamfer man. I don't want to get too mad. Just, you know. Boom. There we go. I reckon... I'm doing it all day long. Just dress that corner up. Like so. So now we'll switch out again to a farting pool or farting tool, which I've just ordered a set of new bits for because there's one more after this. So. If this breaks, we're all going tits up. And I know that this needs to be four mil. Which is ah, turn on the digital reader. Zero me. Why? Come out and go seven. Which is there. That is happy days. I'm just gonna lock off my carriage. Let me lock off carriage spanner. Off camera, like so. And now, if I've got it right, the magic should happen. I need to break this back edge. So I'll just stop that. Stop that now. Yeah. Clean that back edge up, like so. And then again, I don't mind saying that I did get touched by a bit of fucking dwarf just before I stopped cutting, and it's not exactly cold, as the smoke will attest to. So we'll back out, look. We'll run away with me and look. There you go, job done. So I've just clean that back edge up i'll break those that burr and a vice uh, and give it a quick rub and bob's your fucking answer so we're all sorted for spin doors for our finger bob lots of love to you so right bare naked ladies look we're having a shuffle we've uh, the road queen's gone priscilla engine's gone there's our russ's bits we oh my god Ah, there's the oyster. There's the VN that's going out next. I need to collect, collate all of the parts for Will that are oh, down there next to Harry the Bastard. I need to try and find the paperwork that I have at home. Um, and then I'm going to do our dens. So that's got pride of place on the lift. I desperately want to get on our Tonys and I need to get on our Russes. Todd, who's watching, I'm pretty sure. If you're watching, Todd, then yours is not forgotten. It's not gone, and it's not forgotten. I'm just snowed under, mate, so I'll message you if you don't comment, yeah? When you see this, just to touch bases and let you know that I've not run off with it. Um, our Andy's full frame is looking likely for December, because we are now at the end of November. So, 
all in all, we're a busy boy, hung and have a good tidy of all the sisters. Wow, look, for fucking uh, Nige. And we think i got to make his, remake his make do rack thing and redo his rear peg hangers, which I'm going to do on the bench where the hard on is. That's coming off. Uh, and I'll get on it again next month, I think. We'll park it up over there on its stump. Look, <laughs> there's a bit of wood there. I'll park it on when I'm not working on it. Because it's an on off on off job. Old Dan's bit should be back on his bike by then. And so on and so forth. So I am gonna have a tidy up off camera, move things around, get sorted, and then see what the time's doing. And maybe get a bit on Dan's done. <sighs> right. Fucking amount of breath. I've just cleaned the back down the back of the lathe. Lathe. I've just cleaned down the back of the lathe to some degree. It's not absolutely clean because I need to have a fucking clear out of the swarf. I need to get the forklift and its little tipper in here and fill it full of swarf and dump it in the metal bin. I'll have a word with the landlord. The reason that I cleared that out, made a right mess with the bed in the process, was because I dropped that. And down the back of there was full of that. Totally and utterly full of that, and it just ceased to exist in my eyes. <sighs> I've not quite deburred it. I held it in my fingers, like so, and got the deburring tool on it, and it flicked out. I fumbled it as I was stood here, here with the lathe, and it fucking went down the back. Come on, right, it open. so here it is in all its glory. There we go. So we've got EN16T. Solid spindle, which you could fucking tow the Queen Mary with. So that should be neat. Um, we've got 19 millimeter spanner fit in six sided, nut action method used. And we've got that 32 millimeter flange as requested. That flange is removable. It's a washer, isn't it, really? And in stainless steel. So if this gets painted, polished, chromed, don't know. I'm just going to finish it in because it'll go rusty if you don't, if you're listening. Um, then it can be polished separately or whatever like. That matters, does it? It's going to do the fucking job. She needs to check the length because, yeah, fuck it now. <laughs> She's got some length on it. That's, that's longer than the widest frame I've ever made. That is by a, by a good fucking couple of inches. So a good inch or so. So I need him to double check. I can always... Come up here more with thread and chop the end off. That's not a problem. That's happy days. What I can't do is make it any longer. That's not going to work. So it's waiting on the uh, confirmation email, and then that will be winging its way to deepest, darkest fucking <sighs> Lincolnshire. I always get mixed up. I'm really sorry. It's bad, isn't it? Deepest, darkest finger bob territory. There you go. <laughs> It's Norfolk. Yeah, it's Norfolk. Normal for Norfolk, yes, it is. Right, it just leaves me to thank you for watching. If you like what you see, please give me a thumbs up and a sub. It makes a massive difference. Um, this week has been not my usual. Regular viewers will see there's been a bit of a change up. I'll put two videos out uh, and a sneaky little third, actually, apart from the shorts and the usual shit that I put out. I kind of broke the week up into two. Um, let me know if you like it. It's a bit of a shambles to me. It's a bit haphazard, but such has been my week. So I'll catch you on the next one. Please check out my friends and merchandise and all that shizzle in the description below, and I'll see you soon. Big love, everyone. Have a great day.